Hi guys! Today's video is to show you a really unique belt that I love that you probably haven't seen before. It's made by Crosstac, which is a company in Colorado that makes all of their own products right here in the USA, which is really awesome. I love supporting American manufacturers, especially companies like Crosstac, where I've been really impressed with their customer service. They responded to all my emails super fast, and they paid great attention to detail, and they had just really helpful positive attitudes in general, which was really nice. Okay, so this is their lightning belt, and it's sturdy enough to hold all your gear, but it's a really fun option for women. Unlike most tactical belts out there, this one has a narrow inch and a quarter width, which is very comfortable to wear all day long especially for women who aren't used to wearing belts or don't like wearing belts. It also has two hidden pockets on the inside that are really cool and a really unique silver cobra buckle that you can choose along with a lot of different color combinations for the actual belt itself. For the guys watching this, Crosstack does make men's belts too, which are wider and they only come in the more standard tactical colors like black, foliage green, and coyote brown. But for this lightning belt, if you like solid colors, there's five you can choose from. There's neon pink like this, OD green, black, purple, and turquoise. Or if you want something a little bit different or you like a little bit of flair, you can also choose colored energy arrows like this. As you can see there are three sets of arrows on each side of the buckle. I'll go ahead and put a link below to the page on their website that shows all of the available color combinations and what they look like. But these are my two favorites with the energy arrows. The top one is black stitching on an OD green belt with a black cobra buckle and the bottom is storm gray stitching on a black belt with the silver cobra buckle. They also have some belts with red, green, or purple colored arrows. Aside from the fun colors, I also mentioned a couple hidden pockets on the inside that are really neat. There's this one up front next to the buckle, specifically made to fit a tiny SOG Micron knife. And there's another pocket around back, specifically sized to be a money slot. You just fold your bills into thirds like this and you slip them up inside and they're really secure in there. They're not going to fall out or anything. Um, obviously once the belt's on you it's not going to be super easy to get your bills back out of the belt but it is still a handy way to keep some extra cash on you. I really like the upfront knife pocket. Now the SOG Micron is definitely not intended as a self-defense knife but it is handy to have as a backup just in case. I have used it several times for small tasks when I left my pocket knife at home and it did work well and in an emergency it could still come in handy even though it's so small. The Micron really is miniature so you don't feel it at all when it's inside the belt. I have really tiny hands and as you can see it's smaller than my pinky finger so I don't think any other knife is actually going to fit in this particular pocket. The Spider Co. Honeybee or Bug, for example, are both small knives as well, but they are wider than the Micron, so they will not fit in this pocket. Um, the Micron comes in either silver, like this, with a standard blade, or you can get a black one with a Tonto blade. If you don't already have a SOG Micron to put inside that pocket and you do want one, you can buy one straight from Crosstech with your belt, which is pretty convenient. I also want to talk about the buckle used on this belt. It's actually my favorite thing about this belt. If you haven't seen a Cobra buckle before, this is a genuine Cobra buckle made in Austria, and it is my absolute favorite type of buckle. It is attractive to look at, and it's also quick release, which is super easy to use. So it just works like this. You just push on the the tabs and it, it pops right out and then you just snap it back together. This is what it looks like unhooked if you haven't seen one. Just snaps together and it's quick release. Super convenient. Crosstech does offer a standard black cobra buckle like this as well but I really love the silver and as far as I know the silver is a custom cobra buckle that's unique to Crosstech. 
The size of this particular buckle is also really nice. As you can see, it's made to fit this slim one and a quarter inch webbing, but the buckle is a nice one and three quarter inch width. So you can easily weave it through your belt loops. Most of my belt loops measure at one and three quarters, so that's the same as the buckle, and it really doesn't take much to weave it through. To compare, this is a belt from another manufacturer that has the exact same style of Cobra buckle, but the cross tack buckle is smaller and better sized for a woman like me. This is a one and three quarter inch Cobra belt from HSGI with a standard full size Cobra buckle that measures two and a quarter inches wide. So as you can see, this belt is half an inch wider in every way. This Cobra buckle is the size that you normally see available on different Cobra belts, but it's obviously too big for me to thread through my belt loops without actually removing the buckle. And this belt is also too wide for me to wear comfortably. Just for another comparison, this is my Aries gear belt, which measures one and a half inches for both the buckle and the belt. So the buckle itself is a little smaller and the belt is a little wider. This belt does easily weave through my belt loops, but the Cobra buckle is actually a different style. And I like the Cobra buckle style on the cross tack belt better. I also personally find the Aries gear belt to be much too stiff for everyday wear, although it's great for the range. The soft nylon webbing that this belt is made of is very flexible for comfort, but it's also got quite a bit of vertical rigidity to it because there's a stiffener sewn on the inside. So it does feel really solid and durable, and I would say that it's sturdy enough to carry anything you want to on it, um, such as your Leatherman, bone, knife, mag pouches, holster, anything like that. I've been carrying my K-Bar TDI knife up front like this on these belts and it's been working out really well for me. And I do have a one and a quarter inch belt holster on the way from PJ Holster that I'm going to try, but it's just not here yet. For concealed carry, one thing to think about is that you're going to have a little bit more movement when you're wearing a belt that is narrower than your belt loops. Most belt loops are wider than an inch and a quarter. My belt loops are mostly an inch and three quarters, so as you can see here, there's about a half an inch of space where this belt can move up and down on my jeans. That means that you're going to have to pull up more than normal to draw your pistol, and your holster could shift a little bit more than if you were wearing a belt that completely fills the gap in your belt loops. If you order, you'll need to measure for your exact size, so I'll put a link below this video to the instructions on their site for how to measure properly. If you don't measure properly and you choose an option with the energy arrow stitching, it would be possible that your arrows could end up off center one way or the other when you're wearing it, which wouldn't look as nice. Um, I haven't experienced that since their sizing instructions are great if you follow them correctly and order the right measurement, but it is something to keep in mind. For pricing, their solid colored belts are $64.99 and it is $5 extra if you add the colored arrow stitching. If you add a little SOG Micron to your order from Crosstack, it's an additional $16.99. And again, they are a really great company that is genuinely focused on their customers, so if you have any questions about their products or you even have a special request, definitely don't hesitate to contact them. Not only do they make belts, but they also make various other products such as slings and shooting mats. And I'll also put a link below to a write-up that I did on my blog, followyourviews.com, back in August about these belts and also about their slings. I'm actually doing a cross-tech sling giveaway right now on Facebook, so if you like what you see about these slings on my blog post, please click the link below this video to go to my Facebook wall and then follow the directions on Facebook to enter the giveaway. For the giveaway, I'm giving away a black crosstack sling and a purple sling, both of which have a QD connector on each end. I will be running the giveaway for two weeks, so if you know anybody who's in need of a sling, please share my Facebook wall with them. And thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!